Okay, Judy. Uh, first thing, I'm going to try and give you the swing to that first blues. The second finger style blues is what it's called. But um, we were playing it at 54 beats per minute. That was this. One and two and three and four and. And I'm going to give it a swing. So instead of going one and two and three and, I'm going to go one, a two, a three, a four, something like that. So it sound like this. That kind of thing. And the second one would be, sorry. What in the world? kind of thing and then the last line would be that kind of thing it gives you a little bit of something to play with um, secondly let's look at our st. Louis blues just remember whenever you're trying to you're trying to make it from one and two and to one a two a three a four something like that uh, St. Louis Blues. All right, so first line was awesome. Great job today on that. The second line is just kind of getting used to a couple little teeny things, but it's really not going to be that bad for you either. It's just that one thing in the middle we got to work on, and I'm going to isolate that first, okay? So that is right there separating me, uh, measure two and measure three on the second line, and it's coming in on the end of four and going on to the first beat of, of the next measure, okay? So you're gonna end up with and one. That's the rhythm of it, okay? So so what we're gonna have you do before you even do the hammer on will be one, two, three, four, and one, two, and then I'm just gonna cycle that, okay? One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one. Okay, now, ignoring the bass note now, we're just going to go just the hammer on. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. Do that as many times as you need to. Then they go on top of each other. So you're going to go and one and also go and one at the same time. you got to focus on the left so the first finger dropping at the same time your thumb is hitting the low E. I exaggerated the bass note. Okay, so it'll be one, two, three, four, and 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 one. So you don't want or you don't you, you don't want the, to hear that the hammer on has happened before the bass note. You need to have it at the same time. Okay. Now, when that feels good, uh, we can start working on that third measure there. But let's go back a little bit and work on the first measure of line one. If you read through this, it's not that bad. The first beat's going right one and and then third finger comes down to the second string and plays and then we're gonna play some open notes. And we put back, third finger back down and play the fourth beat. So you can read that pretty good. Right hand just keeps doing what it's been doing the whole song, which is A finger on the first string, middle on the second, and I finger on the third. Okay, you should be able to read through that one pretty good. The second measure needs a little bit more attention just because now we're using our second finger and we haven't used it yet. Okay, so the first beat's one and we're going from A to A to the octave. Right? Then on the next one, you're going to pinch the third finger D and the open A. And then second finger drops to the C sharp. So. All right, you got to make sure your M finger plays both of them. I'd isolate that one for a little bit. And then put them together. And then a couple open notes open A, open B. All right. Now this last beat here is the one we were just working on, but 
if you isolate just this one measure, you don't have to worry about that because it's just, right? Because we're not worried about the hammer on until we go into the next measure. Okay, so that, that whole measure sounds like this. Okay, just make sure your right hand stay on the right string and that shouldn't be too bad either. Kind of the shift from the second finger to the third finger, maybe it might be awkward if you go too fast, but I think you'll be fine. All right, the rest of this thing. All right, once you get the feel for that, that and one, go ahead and 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 go ahead and add the high E string because that's part of that first beat. That hammer on is part of the first beat, even though it's coming from the measure before. We we need to think of it together. And one and. All right, once that feels good, I don't know what I just did. Um, once that feels good, we go on to the next, just like we were before, um, go to the next beat. But this is something you've already seen before. This is the repeat of the, the first um, lick, just that hammer on's in a different spot. So beat two, three, and four, and beat one and two, and three of the next measure you've already seen before. All right. Uh, Sorry, I did, that was with the wrong bass note. Uh, sorry, starting on beat two of measure three. And the bass note, okay? Um, and then when you put that together with the new thing at the end of that is a triplet. So uh, everything you just did, but then the last thing on that measure is gonna be a triplet. Third finger plays the fourth fret. And then you're gonna go out and play the open A and play A sharp or B flat, depending on how you talk about it. Triple it. Okay, so from, let's go ahead and add the hammer on. Sorry. Okay, so the rhythm of it would be and one. Take your time with that and it'll be fine. Don't worry about the transitions. Worry more about what you're doing specifically in that measure and you'll be all good. If you have any questions, let me know.